So I was editing the, the video last night about my RFI issues, about the Signature 12 going, like, disappearing. And I've realised that the little ground straps that go between the ground plate and the real ground, in my opinion, are a bit too long. So we're coming out today, I'm going to shorten them and tidy that up. And then I just want to check what the hell is going on in here when it comes to grounding. And I'll tell you why, because Tom was telling me the other day, a couple of times he's been out in his field and he's been mucking around, you know, with his aerial or what, his antenna, whatever. And he's got a, a bite, you know, a bit of a static shock off the ground, the braid, if you like, of the coax, the ground connector on the SO239, PL259. So, and I thought, well, I never get that, but I believe we're grounded here, so I'm going to do some multimetering work and also make sure that cabinet number two, which is the one on the left here, is grounded. It might not be thinking about it. If so, I'll pop back inside and we'll get a ground strap and we'll connect the two cabinets together. So let's uh, sort these wires out. We don't have a tripod, so what I do is I just move chairs around and sit you on it so you can see what I'm doing. So these can be a lot shorter. Mm. Needs a little bit of give. I better drop the antenna. Now, when I did this, no one could advise me if I was doing it right or wrong, but after three or four years of actually doing this, this method, nobody has complained. Uh, sorry. After three or four years of doing this method, I can tell you it just works. So I haven't had a problem. I haven't noticed any difference between having it directly on the ground or very slightly raised up. Well, not not any discern well, not anything I can measure, alright? The thing is, let's say there is half a dB difference on the takeoff angle. I mean you would never notice it anyway, would you? Alright, I put the multimeter between the cabinet and the ground rod and all is working. The only thing we haven't got is conductivity between the two cabinets. I believe I should connect the two cabinets together. Although there is no, there's nothing actually touching the other cabinet. So right now it doesn't matter. A bit pissed off with this. It's starting to rust right along that edge, look. So I might complain about that and get another door. Uh, okay, let's uh, just fire some RF through this and make sure it all works. All right, okay, so I just quickly flick through um, top left, you know the score. You can see when I hit the transmit button, there's my SWR. And it hasn't affected my, my SWR at all. Um, I've just got through the bands. Okay, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just squirting 15 watts out and using the inbuilt tuner. Uh, for um, for the SWR meter. In fact, I get a tune on uh, top end of 50 megahertz, 5650. Um, it's quite interesting. I don't know what the pattern looks like. Some people have, have said they've made contacts. 
Now, station ground. I am not an expert in station ground. I know, I know one or two facts which are quite important I should divulge to. If you're in the UK and you are on the PME wiring, which is, I can't remember what it stands for, and it doesn't matter, uh, fret yourself out, but it means that the neutral and the earth are bonded together, right, from the big transformer back somewhere else. So if you put a station grounding in, it is possible that your station ground could become the main uh, safety ground for the whole of the system that you're on, the estate or whatever. And Mac told me, M0CUS, I think he is, uh, a great story. I think it was a lady in Coventry whose radiator kept getting hot, even with the heating off. And it turns out that uh, that was effectively acting as a safety ground. Massive dummy load because her radiator was obviously grounded you know, locally. And um, so you just have to beware. Now, Mac did tell me if you did want any sort of station ground to run the thickest wire you can from your station ground straight to your consumer unit, you know, where your trips are. Get an electrician to do that and get him to test it. Right. I think is the safest way of playing it. I'm okay, okay here in Holly Farm because I'm in the middle of bloody nowhere. Massive three-phase supply coming in in the land. Um, we've got, you know, earth points around the place and I'm not on PMA wiring and I never get a bite on the coax. I'm like Tom. All right, so anyway, that's all I have for you today. Have a jolly good day. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye for now.